the clock. Should we call the meeting to order? Let's call the meeting to order. Do we have any, I don't think we need to go through the meeting protocols. What do you think, Tom? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, we just simply need to note that this uh, meeting is held under uh, provisions of state statute that allow virtual meetings associated with local emergency and a pandemic. So okay. um, this is a special meeting. So I do need to remind the council that we are limited in our discussion to those items that are on the agenda. So that would be the singular item agreement agenda for purchase agreement for 461 Main Street. Um, in short, uh, we had sent over uh, the purchase agreement based on our discussions with them after they reviewed it. The property owner had two, I guess, relatively straightforward items that they were looking for in the addendum. The first one is that they wanted us to inspect the property um, in relatively short order after they have moved out of the property. Um, you recall that we had retained, we have a, their agreement calls for $20,000 that will be held in escrow to basically cover cleanup of the property. Long and short, um, not that we would assume that they would do it, but we have to protect our interests that when somebody um, is leaving their building and stuff behind that they don't have their neighbor, their cousin, everybody else bring all their appliances and everything over. And we've got a corner of the garage full of waste oil and all those types of things. So we want them to take everything out and we wanted to have sufficient resources that when they leave, we can clean it up if we need to. Um, that being said, the owner's like, well, I'd like to get that back as soon as possible. So we're agreeing to conduct an on-site inspection within two business days after we've been notified that they're gone and then um, notify the title company so the title company can go through its process to release the escrow. Uh, the second item is that the property owner is looking for a date certain by which we will be able to verify or determine that we have financing for the project. Essentially, we've sold the debt. We originally left that open a little bit um, as we were coming into the spring. Uh, they're looking for a date certain. Uh, we've discussed the issue internally. We've talked with Terry Heaton, our financial advisor from Baker Tilly, and we feel May 31st is, is adequate. We will have sold the debt by then. And that's essentially a contract, you know, at that time we essentially have a contract for the sale of the building. And while we won't have proceeds by May 31st, our closing is scheduled before June 30th. And we would still likely have proceeds in hand. And if we're off by a week or two, uh, we can cash flow it for a, a week or two. That's not a big deal. So we're okay from a staff standpoint with both of the items that the property owner has requested and they've indicated they will sign if we approve those two items. Renee, do you have anything to add to that? No, I think he covered it. So we would be looking for a motion to approve uh, the addendum to the purchase agreement for 461 Main Street. Can I ask a quick question? Um, who's gonna, the staff gonna be doing the inspecting of the property? Yes, it'll probably be a combination of staff, um, but it'll probably, in practicality, it'll depend on who's available. We're largely talking about walking the property, both the, the property and the buildings to make sure that they've basically been, um, one, everything's been removed and they've been left in the condition that's specified under the terms of the purchase agreement. And the Okay, because my concern was if we were going to hire an inspection company or somebody else don't do it. Two days wouldn't be enough time to do it. No, we're, this is really just to make sure they took all their stuff and didn't leave anything behind and they secured it as they were required to do uh, because okay. honestly all of the structures that are there ultimately push over. So we just want to make sure that we don't have more of a mess to clean up, um, so to speak. That's going to cost us extra and mm -hmm. we make sure that they've secured if they're, for instance, we remember we were going to allow them to like take a window or something, you know, right. they properly secured it. So what we're doing is we're making sure that the property is just simply left in the condition that was specified. So me, Corey, or Renee can all um, do that. It, quite honestly, it'll probably be a combination of a couple of people to just make it efficient when we get to that point. So okay. why, wouldn't our, would our, why wouldn't our building inspector be involved in anything like that? Uh, there's nothing that's really building as it comes to that. It's really just, did you take your stuff? And did you? Yeah. yeah. It's, I think, you know, the, the buildings had quite a bit of uh, stuff in them. And primary concern is that we're not going to have to spend time getting 
rid of used motor oil and hazardous materials or, um, or rent dumpsters. And that's the biggest concern. Yeah, I, I guess I, I bring it up. Well, I guess a building inspector isn't real independent. I'm just I'm thinking if we've got down the road into a conflict with uh, mm -hmm. with the folks, if they would have uh, any points that we're not certified inspectors or whatever. But well, well again, we're not some staffs concerned with. I won't be concerned with them. <laughs> no, we're essentially the landlord saying we're holding escrow to make sure you took your stuff with you when you moved out. We don't want to have to throw away your couch. I mean, it's that it's that level of inspection. This is, it's not an inspection for yeah. public, it's not an inspection for processing or anything like that. This is yeah. really straightforward stuff. So Joe, your point is just like having more of a third party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we're in a court situation where we're trying to sue them for something they were supposed mm -hmm. to do and they say, well. You're not an independent person. I don't know. I, I'm not a landlord. I'm not, but it doesn't matter. If it sounds like staff is fine with this, then I'm fine with it too. We're, we're, we're fine with this. If in some weird circumstance and I can't even come up with one where we needed it, we can always engage our building official or somebody else if we had to. Um, but I, I just don't think it's that kind of a circumstance. So. It's fine. Any, uh, any other questions from council? If not, um, looks like we need a motion. Motion to move addendum. Sorry, I don't have it in front of me. For the staff uh, you can move for the staff recommendation. So moved. Second. Motion by Kate, second by Joe. Was it Josh or Bryce? Bryce. Bryce. Bryce, okay. Uh, Tom, you want to call roll? Yes. Council Member Shanky? Aye. Council Member Novak? Aye. Council Member Timmerman? Aye. Council Member Burr? Aye. Mayor Julius? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, I guess we can't have discussion by council or anything, so motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. So motion by, I didn't catch any of that. Motion Sorry, by Burr. Burr. By Novak. Councilmember Shanky? Aye. Councilmember Novak? Aye. Councilmember Timmerman? Aye. Councilmember Burr? Aye. Mayor Julius? Aye. Meeting adjourned. Have a good weekend, everyone.